Hey, so most, if not all of y'all, haven't seen my face before. So hi, my name is Chris. I'm the one who runs this channel. As y'all know, I mainly do music. However, I'm giving this channel a new identity. So almost everything about this channel is changing. That also goes for what to expect from now on. Don't worry, I'll still be doing my music, but I'll also be starting a new type of content where I speak about anything that the Lord puts on my heart. Speaking of that, I feel like God is calling me to talk about something called sickle cell. If you don't know what it is, sickle cell is basically a form of anemia where the hemoglobin kind of shapes your blood cells into a sticky, small crescent, crescent shape. I wanted to do this to encourage the people who are struggling with it and to help inform the people who don't know what it is. Now, this is something that could be really dangerous, especially if it's not treated right. Specifically because sickle cell patients like me are more likely to catch certain stuff like uh, acute chest syndrome, for example. Not only that, but sickle cell patients have to regulate their body and they can do that by drinking enough water, making sure that, that they're hydrated and making sure that they, that they take breaks whenever they're active if they need to. Most of these things are from my experience and what the doctors have told us more specifically me and my mom throughout every hospital visit. But if you do have any questions, you can put them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them, whether it's in a video or in a Q&A or directly. Now for the people who do know what it is or do have it, I do understand what you are going through. It is not a fun experience. I, like most sickle cell patients, have been dealing with it since birth. As you'll see, my editor will put it up on the screen. I've been through countless hospital visits. I have gotten my spleen removed, my gallbladder removed. I even caught a pain crisis so bad that when I was visiting New York, I had to go and visit that hospital, even though that wasn't the state that I, that I currently reside in. But through all of that, I had faith, faith that no matter how deadly the situation is, that I would make it out alive and well. The big thing, or should I say, the person that I've decided to put my faith in and who has kept me alive my basically my whole life is, is Jesus. No matter if I was walking in with him or not, he's the one who has got me through the trials, the, the hospital visits, the, the pain crisis, all the, all the terrible pain. And the truth is, is that without him, I wouldn't be alive here today. And like in the verse Hebrews 13, 5, I know that he will never leave me nor forsake me. Don't we just serve a faithful God? Man, hallelujah. Back to, but back to the faith thing. I remember my mom telling me that in, in the hospital while I was little, I, I was worshiping him, singing to him. Even while I was little in the hospital, I still had that childlike faith i was still singing singing to him praising him praising him through the storm and i know for some of you guys you guys might not have that same amount of faith that i do but i do want to say all oh, hope is not lost for there is a father in heaven that loves you very much that wants to bring you through the messes that you are going through and that wants to heal you of all your pain but for some of you guys you might not even know him Jesus is God. Jesus is our Father in heaven. And I believe he is waiting for you to call upon his name. And if you're already a follower of Jesus, I do pray that he does a miracle in you. And even if you don't even know him, he, I believe he still wants to do a miracle in you, but he's just waiting for you to call upon his name. I know that it's gonna be hard believing that, especially since it sounds too good to be true. But I do believe that he is so good and he is very real, he is true. But hey, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through him. He is waiting for you to call on his name. And I believe that there is someone here that it, that is just that is watching this video. You're you're struggling. You don't know what to do. Do you don't know how you're gonna keep making it? You might have zero hope at all. But but believe me, he is the way. He is your everything. He is your healer. He he is. If you're missing a father, he is your her father. If you're missing a friend, he is your friend. He, if you need a healer, he is your healer. If you're needing of a therapist, he is your therapist. Now, if you're into music, there are a couple songs that I like to listen to that help restore my hope and faith. These songs be, are are called uh, Waymaker by Leland and Too Good To Not Believe by Brandon Lake. Both of these songs have helped me restore my faith, especially Too Good To Not Believe. You're the wonder-working God. You're the wonder-working God. All the miracles will see. That's how the song. That's how the song goes. If you don't know how it, if you don't know how it goes. Now I know it seems that I'm forcing you to become Christian, but 
it is your decision if you want to follow if you want to pick up your cross and follow him because it is not an easy walk however at the end of this video if you decide to follow jesus i do recommend that you have that childlike faith that i had when i was a child and that i still have to this day but also even a mustard seed size of faith can you will be able to move, move mountains you don't know what a mustard seed is like it's like about like this small it probably could be even smaller than that even with that mustard seed of faith your mountains will be moved by the hand of god your chains will be broken by the hands of god you will be set free you'll be set free from your sickle cell you'll be set free from whatever you're going through in your life you god will use you in mighty ways i just want to thank you all so much for taking your time out of your day to watch this video and i pray in jesus name that you will be healed and God will deliver you and set you free. Amen. Have a good night.